Good afternoon, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce. I got a lot of news. Lots happening. Let me give you a verse of scripture that's fitting. It's out of Joel 3, 9, and it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men and let all the men draw near. Let them come up. Let me give you the gospel before I get into what's going on. <clears throat> because there was an update last night, and it's telling. The gospel is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. That's how we're saved, why we're saved, and how we're kept saved. Through his death, burial, and resurrection, his blood that he shed. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, you are. Protected by the blood of Jesus, you are rapture ready. Which is going to happen at any time and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. I'm looking at the news over here. So the Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you. Now, I just heard on Fox News earlier this morning. Biden has lifted the sanctions off of Iran. I just heard that this morning. Along with the fact that Russia, at 3.30 in the morning, I read this last night, as I was going to bed at, after 11 o'clock, that Russia and some of their family members are going to the Ural Mountains. Now, the Ural Mountains in Russia is where the nuclear codes are and where their nuclear quote-unquote buttons are. So, let me start with this. There was an update. At 1 o'clock this morning, there was an update on this whole thing. So, let me, let me bring you up to par what's happening right now. In case you didn't hear the video last night, Biden has approved Ukraine to go deep into Russia, to fight deep into Russia using American weapons, okay? So the update came yesterday, or last night. There was uh, The last update came at... Well, there was an update yesterday at 614, and I think I did that in the video that I did yesterday. It says, as Russia starts being hit by these Western weapons and Russia starts being killed, excuse me, it is already fully known that Russia will hold the West responsible and strike back. And that is definitely true. So tonight, the Russian foreign ministry issued a special statement on these developments, reiterating if Western weapons strike deep in Russian territory, our response to the West will be devastating. That's, it says devastating. So in other words, they're going to go nuclear. So the update, 1242 this morning. Well, 1255. It says Zelensky has notified the world. that they are prepping the coordinated strike with long-range weapons inside Russia. So Putin in September, and I've been going through this for months, Putin in September of this year on the update to their nuclear doctrine, they updated their nuclear doctrine in September, will assume NATO is behind the coordinated attack. Target uh, uh, intel, targeting equipment, supply equipment, uh, manning, and may engage in tactical nukes and may and will, <laughs> will <laughs> consider such an attack as NATO getting directly involved in the war with Russia. Now, 
The reason why Great Britain, and I did it yesterday, last night, that Great Britain uh, Prime Minister was on a plane to Brazil. There's a G20 summit. Now, why are they having a sitting U.S. president who is not a part of BRICS at this summit is beyond me. But he talked this morning, and I heard it on Fox. He reiterated the fact that he approved Ukraine to go deep in Russia using American weapons. And he was proud of that. That's what Biden said at the G20 summit this morning in Brazil. Again, why would Brazil, who is part of BRICS, have a, a, a U.S. president who is not a part of BRICS at a G20 summit? Beats me. Not to mention, this is where I heard him saying, that he is lifting some of the sanctions off of Iran. Again, they're doing all this to make sure Trump has a hell of a time or that he don't get inaugurated at all. Because keep in mind, if war breaks out here, if some kind of war breaks out, the person in charge now would have to stay in charge and there will be no transfer of power, which is what they're trying to do. This administration is sinister. And that's putting it mildly. He waited until now to give Ukraine permission to go deep in Russia using U.S. weapons. Again, I reiterate what happened in World War II. When you know who couldn't take Europe. Yeah. He figured if he, if he can't have Europe, no one will. Yeah, we know what happened there. So, there is a video here, and it says, On Sunday, Russia launched 120 drones, missiles, in a large attack on Ukraine infrastructure and military targets. It is now widely being stated this attack was just a first immediate response to Biden's move on long-range missiles. It is now also confirmed, Zelensky told Trump, either promise us NATO, listen very carefully to what he just told Trump, either promise us NATO or we will go with the nuke option within months. He threatened Trump with that. So, The Russian response is, we will not allow Ukraine to build a nuke, period. This thing is nuclear, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. They don't have a choice now but to do that. This just came out, now I'm looking at Telegram right now. Something else just happened, and this is a ruse also of what the U.S. is doing. So, undersea communication cables have been cut. Finland to Germany. The undersea communication cable named Sea Lion 1, Sea Lion 1, which runs from Finland to Germany, appears to have been cut. So the submarine fiber communications cable, Sea Lion 1, Finland and Germany, is the only cable connecting Finland with Central Europe. The cable has a fault. And as such, communications via the cable are unable to get through. The vessel has set out to investigate the cause. I'm telling you right now, this current administration, this by dawn administration is planning something. And it was just the beginning when they allowed Ukraine to do what they're going to do. This is also coming out that Netanyahu says Israel hit Iranian nuclear infrastructure during the strike. They did do that. They're, they're coming out saying that. Um, 
Folks, this is, I don't think people know the scope of what's about to happen here. I, I really don't think people know the seriousness of what just took place here. When Biden approved Ukraine to go deep in Russia, he is ultimately starting World War III. Because Putin has said over and over and over again, you allow American and NATO strikes to go deep inside Europe, you're, you're a party to this war. And we will retaliate. They've been saying that for months now. Well, guess what? He just poked this bear a little bit too hard. And that's, this is the results of it. Now, this is saying here also on Telegram that Channel 12, which is Israel's channel, the Israeli army is preparing to enter Syria into the circle of war. If the U.S. has lifted some sanctions on Iran, if this Biden administration has lifted some sanctions on Iran, they did that on purpose. Just to... do whatever, just to cause trouble. And they, they're doing that. Uh, Russia's MFA issues statement on Ukraine receiving U.S. authorization to strike inside Russia. It says, as soon as the missiles come into action, we will respond without hesitation. And I just read you that Ukraine has said that they are preparing to go deep in Russia. It says, Sweden and Finland are urging its citizens to prepare for possible war. It says, World War III is breaking. This is breaking news. It says, Sweden has begun sending out some 5 million pamphlets to its citizens on Monday, encouraging them to prepare for the possibility of war. Neighboring Finland has meanwhile launched a website with similar preparedness services. So this thing is just a, it's just a matter of time. We just have to sit back and see what's going to happen. Now, I got this article here. And again, this is from Michael Schneider. It came out yesterday. It says, as if everything Joe Biden has done so far was not enough, now he has decided to push the U.S. to the brink of a nuclear war, which is true. It says, on Sunday... Joe Biden decided to allow Ukraine to use long-range missiles provided by the United States to hit targets deep inside Russia. This is a bombshell. Fox News was on talking about it earlier today, too. The Russians have already warned us how they will respond if long-range missiles provided by the United States and other NATO countries start raining down on their City. Sadly, most Americans have no idea what a direct conflict with Russia would mean. And that's true. They don't know. You ask the average person on the street, they have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, no, they would never do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm still feeling, he says, I'm still feeling emotional at this point. Everyone needs to clearly understand what just happened because this is a major turning point, And it is. Biden, given the okay to lift restrictions, will allow Ukraine to use U.S.-provided long-range weapons to strike deep into Russian territory. The easing of restrictions would allow Kiev to use the Army tactical missile systems, or Addisims, to hit targets inside Russia. The move also comes as some 10,000 North Korean troops were sent to Kursk near Ukraine's uh, northern border to help Russian forces retake territory. One of the reasons everybody who knows about this is upset is because this wasn't his decision to make. He's saying the same thing I just said. We had an election three or two or three weeks ago. His side lost. Majorly. So the American people elected a leader who wants to bring the war to Ukraine 
in Ukraine to an end. But now Joe Biden is trying to make sure that nobody is going to be able to end this war. That's exactly right. According to CBS News, one of the reasons why this decision was made was to put Kiev in a better negotiating position when and if peace talks happens. That's such BS. It's not even funny. Trump needs to come forward. Uh, they're saying that Trump needs to come forward immediately and announce this move because we could be facing a scenario where events spiral out of control before he even has the opportunity to take office, which is the plan. That is the plan. Do I think that Trump is going to get inaugurated? No. I'm sorry, but no. I could be wrong, but mm -mm. I'm not seeing it. I'm not feeling it. Because this man and this current administration is going to see and try to do everything in his power to keep that from happening. They concede it too easily. They transferred power positions too easily. I had said that before and people say, oh, other presidents have uh, conceded e uh, early too. I'm like, this is different. This is a more sinister move on parts of the Democrats. Vladimir Putin was asked about the possibility that long range missiles provided by the U.S. could soon be hit, used to hit targets deep inside Russia. He responded, by warning that such a move would mean that the U.S. and European countries are at war with Russia. Joe Biden just called Putin's bluff. Yeah. We just crossed the red line and there's no going back. It is. It's, it's done. It's done. You can't put this genie back in a box. They have crossed the red line and there is no going back. Now, the peace and safety happened when Trump got elected. Now you're about to see sudden destruction. I'm going to link this in the description box. Uh, I will be back later. <sighs> this is not good. It's good for the church, but it's not good for the, for the rest of the people who aren't saved. Here's your peace and, here's your peace and safety. Everybody was breathing a sigh of relief and now... The destruction is about to come. If this thing goes nuclear, there won't be a chance to have an inauguration because Washington and New York would get hit first. Think about it. New York and D.C. would get hit first. I will link this in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.